Okay, I was watching uh, YouTube today, and I was trying to figure out how to fill the holes in the mast from my 22-foot Catalina. It's a 25-foot aluminum mast. Uh, this is the base that you're looking at here. It extends up towards the boat, which is still under repair, as you can see. And this gentleman on YouTube, what he did was he took a drill bit, and he drilled the holes oversize, like you see here, that I've done. Um, and then wire brush the metal, down to the bare metal rather, I should say. Uh, this is where a cleat was. On the other side there were two more. Uh, over here was the winch. I'm not sure how well this is showing up. It's getting kind of late here. Uh, so what I've done is I've drilled the holes out and for what I'm doing, I'm using a quarter 24 um, thread. Quarter inch 24 thread. However, I didn't want to use stainless steel. Oh, the other thing he did was uh, he dipped them in epoxy before he put them in. Well, my intention, what I did, was I took this tent stake, as you can see, which is extremely well used. It's made out of aluminum, and it just happens to fit this um, quarter, I'm sorry, 28 um, die for tapping the rod. So I also found out because of the thickness of my uh, mast, which I will back over here and I'll show you how thick it is. I know this bottom is bad, I haven't redone it yet. Uh, but it takes three turns uh, to get this 28 threads per inch to go through. So my intention is I'm going to take the threaded portion that I have down here at the bottom. I'm going to dip it in two-part epoxy. Uh, I'm using the Loctite. I'm sure that just about any epoxy out there will do. And this is my mixing pot. I use a nail to do my mixing and dabbing. My drill, my wire brush. And then over here where I shouldn't have it is my tap. And my hacksaw. What, and the intent is I plan on dipping the end of this into the epoxy rotate it four times so it protrudes down in there just a little ways and let me set this up here so you can see what I'm doing this will actually thread in, tap in four times hacksaw it off and the reason that the die is on there is when I hacksaw it off I'm going to damage the threads on the end so what I'm going to do is unscrew the tap to clean the threads and then put it right back up there I'll Alden. continue this in just a moment. I need to put the camera on a tripod. Alden. And once you've drilled your holes, I went ahead and I tapped these. Uh, this is the tap. Tap handle right here. Uh, this is also a one quarter, uh, 28 threads per inch, and you're going to have to press pretty hard. Since you're not, since I'm not using a drill press, uh, it is a little wobbly. Uh, you pretty much just got to steady it and keep the tap going as steady as you can. Otherwise, you can ream out the hole instead of threading the hole. But um, this is basically. Um, it's, it's easy to tap, in other words, because it's aluminum. Uh, back off every now and then. Let it break those chips inside there. Don't use uh, oil, um, which means you're going to need a good tap, a heavy-duty one. Because uh, if you use the oil, of course, then you're going to have to come in here with a solvent to clean off the oil before you can actually use the epoxy, uh, or it won't grip the aluminum. So there's three. I'll do one more here. And then I'll stop this video and get ready with some cement, and then I'll start again with the cementing or the epoxying. But basically, you take your time, you don't get in a hurry. You get this tap started, back off, turn it, back off, turn it. And once you're through, do a few turns just to clear the threads. The aluminum will drop inside of the mast itself, and then you can flush it out with water once the epoxy sets up overnight. Uh, you could probably come back 30 minutes after you've done the last one and do it, but it never hurts to just let things sit overnight like this. 
so I'll be back in just a moment uh, and I'll set a couple of them in epoxy for you and you can see how I'm th putting them in and cutting them off. Okay, I have mixed my epoxy. I'm going to set it down. I'm sorry. Well, let me back out here just a little bit with the camera. Come on, just a, whoop, wrong way. There we go. Okay, so I've got my epoxy. And what I'm going to do, like I did last night, which seemed to work pretty good, is I'm going to drop some epoxy on the last two or three threads. Get it up in there pretty good. And I'm going to take my tent stake that's threaded and just simply find that thread. There it is right there. So there's one turn. There's two turns. And there's my third and a half right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it off with the hacksaw. So I got my trusty handheld hacksaw. I'm going to hold it up here to support it. And actually it don't look like my epoxy got in there very good. So let me back this out and put some more in there. Because I want to make sure I get epoxy on the threads. That's the big thing for me. Yeah, there it's there. So once again, once it takes a thread, there's one turn, two turns, three and a half for this particular mast. Uh, the best way to do it is find a hole near the end uh, and just see how many turns it takes. Now, the reason, now I can show you, the reason I left this on here, this uh, die, is so that I can go backwards here. Well, let me, first of all, any epoxy on here I want to get off. And then what I'm going to do is back this off and just clean up those threads so they'll start cleaning the next hole. If you look, there's a little bit left over there. I'll get this out of the way now, move it up. I don't want to get epoxy on it and glue it onto the screw. And we'll do one more. So, this epoxy that I have don't have a long pot life or a long time before it sets up. Uh, heat is what causes it to cure. Uh, so I figure I'll get two or three screws done before I actually have to stop and mix some more. That's why I just barely mixed a little bit. So, there's a thread. There's one, two, three, and a half. If you'll notice, I'm not using a lot of aluminum rod. Cut it off. And then while I still have a little bit of pot life left on my epoxy, I'm going to clean the threads off one more time. I'm going to back this off uh, up in there, clean away on the aluminum. Put it back up in there where it'll be out of my way. Get some more epoxy on here before it sets. I might be able to get two more done if I'm lucky. Um, there's the threads. Put some in and around the hole itself. Get that down in there good. Set this up. And then there's a thread. So there's one, two, three and a half. It's not always going to start in the same spot. It depends on where that tap grabs a hole. So, there's one more. Let's see if I got enough for one more. So I'm going to take, get that die out of the way, clean off most of this epoxy, back the die off, and you can see that I'm going up beyond where the threads start, wiping it off, and then threading it back in again. And that cleans this end so it'll take a good thread. If you don't do that, um, then the only other way to do it is to buy a file or put a nut on here. So, last one right quick. Yep, my epoxy's beginning to set now. So, I'm going to hurry up and get this done right quick. See if I can get this last one done and then I'll answer the phone because my wife is calling me. So the last one. 
There's, okay, it bit, so there's one, two, three and a half. I'm gonna let that sit for a minute and answer the phone, and I'll get back with you. Okay, after uh, letting this sit overnight, uh, I went ahead and uh, did a little bit of filing, cleaned up a little bit. This is uh, two of the screws. I've only done three so far. I uh, ran out of sunlight last night. But anyway, the one on the left, which you can see right here, uh, I filed off and cleaned up. This one right here, you can barely see it sticking up. Uh, the epoxy is holding onto the ground aluminum. But uh, this one is uh, right after I cut it off, I left it. I haven't cleaned it up with a file yet. And this one I did file. So, uh, the system works.